Sinclair, I love the way the sunlight makes your face glow. Beautiful woman, be my bride. Oh, I'm flattered, but no. And it's actually combination skin. Ain't got nothing to do with the sun, daddy. <laughs> And it was two years of, you know, now I had had a little bit of heat from Living Color, sort of known as the girl from that show, and I started taking meetings. This is my meeting phase. I learned the whole thing about meetings, and I also learned that if you try to schedule a day where you get a breakfast meeting, a lunch meeting, and you take half of the lunch home, and then you have free dinner. So I learned, that there was a point where I was taking lots of meetings, and I didn't have to buy groceries for, for like a month because I was taking those meal meetings, you know what I mean? And I was with William Morris, and they were taking me out and working the magic, do you know what I mean? And I also was learning how to work a meeting on my own, so it was almost like the agent would just press a button and go, go, and I go, rrr, 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 here I am. So I was really good at doing the meetings and being charming, and what do you want to do? I want to do anything you have for me to do. I, was just, I, I just was getting good at meetings. And that's a job in itself. It requires a particular type of wardrobe, a particular type of makeup. You have to like work it. You know, so my job was meetings and meetings about talk shows, meeting about, you know, sitcoms, meeting about this and that and this and that. And had a meeting at uh, what was then Lorimar. Uh, and they said, We've got, we want to do a show about women. And, and by the way, what do you think of Queen Latifah? Oh, my God, I love her. Had no idea that they were having the same meeting with her at the same time. Oh, we want to do a show about women, about a group of women. And what do you think of Kim Coles? And she later tells me, I love her. I'm a big fan of hers. And we would see each other in New York at, like, award shows. And we'd be backstage. And I'd go, hi, how are you? And nice to meet you. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of yours. Wow, hi, 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 And, like, had no idea that they were putting us together and then eventually putting together this living single show, which was one of the best experiences of my life. So I think, I don't, and again, I, I think it was Lorimar or it was Fox or it, somehow it was sort of, it just came together. We have Queen Latifah, we're gonna do a deal with her. We have Kim Coles, we're gonna do a deal with you. We're gonna put the two of you together and let's let you guys interview some writers. And we interviewed different writers and Yvette Lee Bowser, who was at the time Yvette Lee, um, seemed to be the right person to create this show. And she was the right person to create this show. And it was, um, you know, through all these different talks and, and sitting down and sort of draining the brain, uh, th this show was created. It was actually called My Girls originally. And someone said we couldn't use the term My Girls because it was a movie called My Girl. I was like, nobody's going to get confused. My Girl's about a little white girl, and My Girl's is a bunch of four black women. Nobody's going to get confused that. But there was much debate over living single. And I remember Latif and I went to a meeting uh, at some executive's office and we said we refuse to have this show called anything except my girls and they're like what about living single that name sucks we will not be involved and meanwhile it's it didn't matter it was about the show and about you know what happened on the show and this and the title was perfect i still wear the t-shirt at home if you like the boomer tube why not subscribe and to see the full interview check out our patreon page to become a member we upload new exclusive content every single week and you can access our library easily thanks